Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day Other Survival. Today we return. I cleared out a little bit of the second floor in my free time. We moved up a little bit towards the next floppy. The next floppy that could be the key to us finishing the acid bath. So today we are going to go on our acid bath quest, hopefully acquire the floppy, go out, get the final circuit, and put the finishing touches on the acid bath. That would be amazing. But along with that, we're also going to be opening up some of these awesome things right here. The new motorcyclist repair kits. A little bit more on the expensive side. Three bucks per, uh, whatchamacallit, three bucks per crate, like 25 for 12. So, uh, we'll see what the odds are like. But before that happens, I want to tell you guys about something freaking awesome real quick. Pirates of the Caribbean Tides of War. You can become a legendary pirate captain and plan out assaults against millions of other pirates from around the world in the most original Pirate War Game. I've been playing it a little bit. You guys are going to be seeing my gameplay in the background. And so far, I've been having a blast with it. Once in, you can even create or join a pirate alliance to rally forces to battle against supernatural creatures and other sea rovers on the vast open seas as you dive into epic quests featuring Pirates of the Caribbean movie plots and characters. And the last update actually came in October 25th of this year, adding a story mode Chapter 3, Queen Anne's Revenge. With this new story mode, the third unique ship, Queen Anne's Revenge, has also been added. And it's an awesome modern base building mobile app with the Pirates of the Caribbean twist and PvP. So make sure to check it out. Link in the top of the description. Go ahead, give it a download. That bad boy is free and click that link. And a huge thank you to Pirates of the Caribbean Tides of War for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that and uh, maybe we'll give it a go. But without further ado, let's start opening up these bad boys. And the good thing here is that we are guaranteed and probably the reason that these are so expensive is that if you open up six of them, you are guaranteed five engine parts, which is pretty solid like it's hard to complain about that many guaranteed engine parts at the end of the day though i would love to hear what you guys gotta think about these i think they are a little bit overpriced like three bucks for a chance at a gas tank like so i'm pretty sure like the i don't know the this thing which has an extremely rare chance at a chopper gas tank is only a dollar so this one is like the only reason it's kind of better is that you do have a guaranteed shot at five engine parts which is like the main appeal of it, I think, is if you buy, if you spend 25 bucks, which is, I know, that's a lot, trust me. That's why I'm just, like, really iffy on this, but if you spend 25 bucks, you're guaranteed 10 engine parts, which is, like, pretty good. Like, if you're spending that much at that point, like, I better be guaranteed something awesome like that. And, of course, it's going to be the last thing that we get, but at the end of the day, five engine parts are five engine parts. They're going to be beautiful because the acid bath thing that we are going on this crusade on this quest for is actually going to take 15 engine parts and uh, the ATV as well. Whenever that happens, at some point in the future, we don't know when the ATV is coming, but when it does come, uh, we will hopefully acquire enough engine parts by then to actually build that bad boy. But I didn't want to open these things and see what the odds are like in terms of getting like the different chopper fork, chopper gas tank, chopper wheel. Like the reason that I'm confused is that isn't it like, I don't know, is it? Oh, these things are really... I mean, I guess they're kind of nice if you want one shot. Like, I, I don't know. I would seriously, like, if you're going for the gas tank, it's way more worth it to get the mechanics pack where it's extremely rare. So, yeah. And then if you do get an extremely rare item, it's going to be the chopper gas tank instead of one of the three versus, like, although if you need engine parts, it's okay. I don't know. I just think this crate's way too expensive. I don't think that it's worth it. But for those of you that are probably going to go out and get it anyway, if you do decide to, I did just want to show off what the odds are like. And as you can see, the odds are pretty poopy. Like, I, it's, it's bad, man. I, I, I would not, uh, I would not recommend this crate. It's, it's really not worth it. Besides the five engine parts. If you're lucky enough to get the five engine parts in, like, seven crates. Because think about it. Like, if you're lucky on the first crate, you'll get five engine parts, which would be dope. I'd retire right there. I would. But then you also don't get the discount by buying a ton, so... It's a risky game to be playing, but with those out the way, I'd love to hear what you guys got to say about that. And I, I, I'm curious if you guys agree with me that those are pretty trash. Like, that's probably, if we, if I were to rank them, I'd love to hear your guys' ranking as well from the past couple episodes. I'm putting, okay, we got a freaking grenade launcher out of the ex expert pack. And just the things you're guaranteed to get here and the, the, you, what you have a chance at getting is so amazing. Expert pack number one. Bunker pack number two. I'll put the motorcycles at my ranking number three just because that's a lot of engine parts. You don't get them in fives anymore. You get them in ones in a new pack. I'm pretty sure in the resource pack, I, I'm putting that in last. So that's my rankings. I'd love to hear your guys this as we do head down into the bunker and hopefully wrap up this floor. And reminder that putting that comment in the comments, I should put you third of the way into the weekly $25. 
iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. All you gotta do is also make sure that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and boom shagalaka, you'll be entered on this video. The notification bell will come in handy, because then you know when more videos go up, when we're covering the new update, hopefully Christmas update, coming super soon. I mean, it's gotta come before Christmas, and I'm guessing it's gonna be this week, so they're not just gonna give us, like, no time before Christmas to celebrate the Christmas event. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's coming soon. But, uh, yeah, the notification bell will be in handy, because you guys can enter on every last day on Earth video, and then when Saturday rolls around, I'll pick a random video from last Saturday, this upcoming Friday, pick a random comment from that random video, and boom shakalaka, that will be how the winner is determined, how he is messaged, and how he gets his choice of Android or iOS when it comes to the $25. Now then, I'm gonna give these guys a choice if they wanna die by piss- no, they don't get a choice, they're dying by pistol. What's up, Exploders? I need you guys to die, like, rather nice as well. Oh god. I- here's the problem, I don't wanna- yeah, okay, I wanna run through that gas there. I don't wanna, like, attack these guys too much. I do want to utilize my tactic. I found a better way of doing the tactic for these guys who are like a little bit further away. Oh god, dude, now is not the time for urination! Please. But you can, you can actually, once you clear out this massive room, it is definitely possible for you to kite- ow. For you to kite them around. A little bit risque, but definitely possible as long as you got some first aid kits and you just kind of make sure to hug the walls when you're doing your maneuvers. It shouldn't be more than possible to actually- oh, there we go. I'll- they might get a hit in on you every once in a while, but it saves you some time from having to go all the way to the other side of the map to do the things. I just like doing the pistol strategy this way, so, uh, yeah, sue me if you don't like Ow. I'm just gonna try to finish the exploder off here. No! Oh, my phone! That is the worst time to ever lag phone. Never do that again. I will throw you out the window and put it on YouTube if you ever do that to me again. If I- that's why I hate being close to exploders. I'm scared my phone's gonna lag. As I'm doing it, I'm turning down the volume because for some reason it's just way louder than I expected it to be. That! I have a headache. One of the two. What's up, blind one? You scared- or big one? You scared? Blind one ain't scared to fight me. Yeah, I'll 1v1 you at a later floor, bro. Probably. So I wonder if, like, every floor is gonna have its own kind of mutation. Because if you think about it, the second floor has the big one and whatever noise he makes. The third floor has the blind one. I have to pee and spread my vitamin P. But uh, I could actually see that being a thing potentially. I don't know. Like it makes sense to me, and maybe eventually we'll be actually be able to fight the blind one. And oh, these are parasites you gotta deal with, right? Cause I'm hearing those disgusting noises that they make. Yeah. Goodbye, parasites. I ain't trying to deal with you. I do want you to explode his belly. And I'm doing awful. I don't think I've got. I'm. I'm actually 100 serious. I don't think I've gotten one military notebook. Like from the first half of this floor that I cleared, like the frenzy giants weren't dropping military notebooks either. So. Our luck right now is looking pretty poopy, which is not good for our quest when it comes down to the uh, part of the quest that we probably care most about, which is, uh, you know what I might want to try to take out right now? Uh, run! Okay, I, how did that get me? But the floppy disk. I'm worried that we might not get enough points from this run. Like, maybe the Frenzy Giants will bless us with tons of good loot. I could see that. I would love that. But, uh, there's a chance that they do not. And if they do not, that will not be well. When it comes to cutting the Frenzy Giants, though, I refuse to kite the Frenzy Giants anywhere except in our amazing ring around the rosy area over here. And then as I'm luring them over, I like to damage them a little bit, get them down to that sweet spot. Then when, they, when they're at that sweet spot where they kind of become deranged lunatics that are faster than Usain Bolt and stronger than Mariusz Pujanowski, that's when the fear begins to set in. And that's when Kolesnikov 47 begins to come into play as well, comrade. You know what I mean? Of course you do. Kolesnikov 47. You cannot go wrong with. It is just gorgeous. And Frenzy Giant is dead. Hey, look at that. It's the first military notebook of this entire floor. But to be fair, there are only... I'm pretty sure there's only one Frenzy Giant before we get to like the second slash last third of the floor, like the second half slash last third. And then here, I think there's like five Frenzy Giants. It, it ramps up pretty quickly. But there is this Frenzy Giant we gotta say hello to. Hey, buddy. How what are you doing? I'm just trying to think. Yeah, there's just, there's just the one in the bathroom over in like the first room after the long hallway. You guys know the one I'm- Oh my god, that- It's just a mirror. Did that dude's belly just like blow up? Not like explode, but like, you know, it just went- Like a balloon. I like a popped balloon, like someone blowing up a balloon. I don't know. I might be crazy. We've well established the fact that I might be crazy. God, though, you know what I'm crazy for? I'm crazy for that Christmas update. 
I'm excited to see what it brings, because I'm hopeful, if we're waiting this long for the update, I'm hopeful that it's going to bring a little bit more than just Christmas. Like, I want to get in the holiday cheer, don't get me wrong, but uh, I want a little bit more than holidays at that point. Like, I'm hoping they add in another event. Like, I want the return of the Smuggler's event, Santa edition, or something like that. I miss the Smuggler's event, even the Shipwreck event, man. I don't know about you guys, I haven't had the Shipwreck event happen to me in weeks. Like, why is Kafir, like, this is like, ah. Uh, it just makes me sad that they're making some of these awesome events that they came up with. They're just making them, like, limited time events. Like, they never say they're gonna be, like, at least I don't think I heard... I mean, they said that the Smuggler's event was going to be limited time, but I thought the Shipwreck event was supposed to be permanent, but it's gone. The Shipwreck event was fun to go to and stuff, and now it's just disappeared, so... I mean, I don't get why Kafir would do that. They add in these new things to the game. They spend time developing the Smuggler's Camp and the Shipwreck event, and they don't leave them in. So they spend time developing stuff that doesn't stay in. Like, for events, that's different, that's cool. And if it's like an event... Like the smuggler's camp that lasts for like two weeks, like, okay, two weeks is a pretty solid amount of time, but still, like, I don't know, man, it, it's rough. And also, we don't want to approach this horde from this side, because then the running is going to suck. Actually, eh, we can fight this exploder. I'm going to take him out with the AK just because I want him to die quickly. Quick and rather painless death. Don't hurt me, exploder. Please do not hurt. What have I ever done to warrant the pain from you? Oh, there we go. If we get across this gas, though, this process is going to get a lot easier. I think I've learned that if I'm going to use my rifles, I'm going to save them for Exploders and Frenzy Giants. Why? Because they are by far the two most annoying enemies. Let's be honest, though. The Exploder def- or the, the Frenzy Giant definitely gets the first place crowned by quite a little bit, you know? Okay, that Glock is gone. Let's use the rest of this one. Kapuya! Two more inventory slots, one more dead exploder, and one more dog tag! Why do you give me dog tags? It's alright, we still got like three frenzy giants to take out, which is what's got me feeling some type of way. So the way that we're gonna approach this is we wanna take out this massive horde. I caramba. There's gonna be a ton of fast biters coming after us. I'll use the pistols on them. I just want them to die quickly. And also I don't have any melee weapons that aren't pistols, so uh cut me some slack, will ya? Anyways, let's try to kill as many of them as we can before the frenzy giant buddy decides to catch up. All right, when he's caught up, uh, where we go? We go. And this is going to be perfect because then we'll take out the last fast biter by the ring around the rosy area. We'll, we'll bring the frenzy giant over to the playpen and uh, things will just go awesome from there. Die already. Good, he only got one hit in on us. We got a little bit of jerky in us and let's start getting some bullets. In the Frenzy Giant. I know I could be saving the Glocks too, especially if we made the Weapon Bench, but at this point, like, I, I just rather, I rather use them. We get inventory space for grabbing loot. Makes our lives a little bit easier. And hey, an easier life is a good life. I mean, you don't want it to be 100% easy, but you can appreciate a little, little easiness curve every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? All right, Frenzy Giants, can you appreciate these bullets I'm putting into you? Can you appreciate them so much that you just die for me? So I don't have to keep shooting you, keep using my guns. All right, I just want an acid bath, and hey, you can come. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know if you're a toxic spitter. I don't know if you want to, like, jacuzzi. But hey, you know, bring your toxic spitting friends. You can use the acid bath as a jacuzzi or, like, a hot tub. You know, bring in the suit, bring in, bring in all the pretty lady toxic spitters, and, uh... You know, we got a party. I will allow you access to such facilities. You just gotta help me out. You gotta give me those military notebooks. You know why those notebooks actually have inscribed into them the blueprints for toxic spitter hot tubs or something. I, I don't know if they actually do. But yeah, I'm really hopeful, man, that this upcoming update really just brings more than just an event. Because it just sucks as the last couple updates, like... I don't know, like two, like in one point, in the 1.6 series of updates, so like 1.6.1, 1.6.2, all that, they've dedicated two updates to the shipwreck event, and now the shipwreck event's just gone, which is kind of like, eh, you know, it's, it's, it's meh, it's, it's pretty freaking meh, and I just, I don't know, I just like, I, I guess I'd be less iffy about it, like, I'd love to hear what you guys gotta say too, if you agree with me, but, at least in my mind, I feel like they should have left some of those things in here, and not just let them, you know, just disappear. 
Eh, it would have given us more to do, too, because now we're just kind of banking on chopper events and airdrops. Airdrops are really nice, though, because there's a chance we get connecting rods out of them. And uh, that's another thing we need. I think I need three more. I just, like, okay, you guys got to have a little bit of pity on me. It's finals week. Okay, so I haven't quite had the time to go on some dedicated connecting rod runs. I'm super sorry about that, but uh, I, finals week, man. It's, uh, it's a doozy, to say the least. It's going to be a fun one, that's for sure. Why did I use my AK? I could have just used the pistols on this guy. I didn't think that through. I was just trying to use my broken weapons and get inventory space. Sounds like a total me move, but goodbye, frenzy giant. Oh. Beautiful form on that flip. 10 out of 10. Beautiful military notebook. That'll give us like 12 XP points. If we can get one military notebook from these lockers, there's a chance we'll get the floppy disk this time. But as the episode goes on, and as this floor continues to disappoint us, my, my hopes are getting a little bit shot down. But at the very least, that means that 100% for sure the next bunker run is going to be a double bunker run. So I, I, I can survive with that in the back of my head. And we can survive with a couple of batteries coming our way. Maybe going to a chopper event too once we get on out of here. Get the hell out of Dodge. Did I loot this yet? I did. All right. Well, we know that we ain't getting... Oh, there's actually still a chance that we do pick up something pretty nice. There's a chance we get the wrench from this, this room right here. I would love a wrench. I don't know about you guys. If you want to give me a Christmas present, just give me a wrench. I don't care if it's in the last day on Earth. Don't care if it's in real life. Wrenches are just, they're such an amazing creation of mankind, dude. So underappreciated. So misunderstood. And I just want to change that. You know, I just want to change the world, the wrench world and wrench society for the better. I know, a noble task, but a task that I plan on accomplishing. And a frenzy giant I plan on killing. And look at that, dude. That stomach in the upper left-hand corner. Freaks me out, man. This freaking blows up randomly and starts glowing. If you're far away, it doesn't do that. Once you get close enough, it's like, oh, all of a sudden. It's all the rage to be big and glowy. Yeah. Yeah. Tell that to freaking the glowing ones over in uh, Fallout 4. And that series. I played Fallout 4 a while ago on the channel, if you guys didn't know. That was a fun time, man. That was a fun series. I wish Fallout 4's DLCs were better. I wish they had more DLCs, too. Like, Fallout 4 really did not have a lot of DLCs. Oh, Kapuyan! Death to the final frenzy giant, giving us one of these. So overall, pretty good on the military notebook side of things. Pretty lackluster on everything else. And I don't think it's going to be good enough to get the specialist level, which means our acid bath quest is derailed. Another day. I mean, it could have still been derailed by the floppy disk and given our luck. The floppy disk definitely would have shot down our throats. But, I mean, so far I'm noticing a pattern that we get a circuit like every other floppy disk. So maybe this one's not going to have it. Thank you for the wrench and the next one will. And then from what I've heard some of you guys say in the comments, shouts out to you guys. Uh, not only spreading the positivity and the fan freaking fantasticness, but shouts out to you guys. Uh, letting me know that from what you've seen, like you don't get an infected box until after you finish your acid bath. Or supposedly that's what's been said. I don't know, because I think some people have said they've gotten an infected box before... Uh, what should I call? They've gotten an infected box before actually finishing their acid bath, but... Maybe it was just good luck, slash bad luck, slash whatever luck you want to interpret that as. Can't wait to open up some of these bad boys, too. I've seriously never noticed that those posters are there until now. Like, not till now. I think it was a couple... I think a week ago. Weekend, a couple weeks ago. Something like that. Specialist man, cut me some slack. I'm sorry I didn't bring you the most. Please level up though. Please do it for me. Yeah, no, it's not happening. So next episode is going to be the floppy episode. We're going to hit reputation level 11 and then we will hit level 12. Now here's the thing. Last time we had level, uh, last time we got an upgrade ability. We actually got a floppy disk. That same level. So maybe, cross your fingers, maybe we'll get lucky. But I've been told that apparently the game balances that out. And, like, it kind of glitches and you're supposed to get that one at level 7. That's why I didn't get the level 7 floppy or something like that. I don't know. It could be a ton of things. But shouts out to the wrench we're acquiring, dude. Wrenches, especially as we prepare for 1.7, which I'm guessing 1.7 is going to come really early in 2018. Probably as soon as... I think it's going to be the update after the Christmas event slash New Year's event type update. I could see it personally because we're getting up there. Like, 1.6 dropped after we were up to, like, 1.5.13. 1.5.14, somewhere around there. So we're getting close. Add in a holiday update. Probably a bug fix somewhere in there all of a sudden, you know. We're getting to a pretty good number. 
I could definitely see it happening. Uh, I'm transporting these steel bars back, though. We definitely got some booties. Booties. What those are booty? We got some booties. <laughs> nah. Uh, we got some goodies that I do want to transport on home. So I think that's the game plan. Uh, I'll grab whatever I can from here. Just kind of try to consolidate. Definitely the car air filters. We're going to need those for the acid bath. I think I have enough through my journeys, though. But I'm just going to try to fill on up my inventory with as much as we can carry. And ooh. I'm bringing home the yellow tickets, too. So putting the wire in a way. Bringing these things. So I'm not cross your fingers as we do leave the area. Will we luck out? And will we acquire that which our heart truly desires? What is that, you might ask? Ice cream. Lots of, I, I, I'm sorry, I want ice cream. I don't have ice cream at home, okay? Because I don't have a car at college, and it's hard to go shopping if you're not going to the gas station, and I just didn't think to buy ice cream, and I'm, I want ice cream. So I'm sorry, man. I'm just, 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 just wanted ice cream. Uh, we're going to head home, drop out some of these goodies, go with a bit of an empty inventory. We're still doing chopper events, not only because we had good guns, there's still the chance we get the scuba mask. We've been doing so many chopper events, I'm still holding out that that happens. And maybe as we use our energy up to an airdrop will happen, we can go to that and we have a chance at getting connecting rods. Because from what I've heard in terms of getting connecting rods, airdrops, bunker chests, and I think AI actually have a good chance of dropping them. Like when you're just kind of in random zones and there's AI, apparently there's a good chance of them dropping those. And I love that I spun on my welcome mat. Actually saves us a good amount of time. Uh, there's the bunker code for today, if you guys are wondering. Make use of that bad boy. 788.59. And what we can do here is we don't have any paint. We have a ton of gun oil, though. Uh, but I want to show you guys what the ticket counter is looking like. Just kind of updates on the chest. Our tickets, we're getting pretty close, even though we're not doing normal bunker runs. Uh, next bunker run, I think we should be able to honestly open up definitely red and green. Maybe yellow if we're lucky, but these two I could definitely see. And I've, the red crate has had double connecting rods before. So there's a good opportunity there. We're up to almost 40 wrenches. The stockpile continues to grow. And boy, oh boy, do I love it. But I'm going to put away the rest of this jazz and uh, talk to y'all in a sec. All right. And this chest just kind of is going to hoard, hoard. I mean, it is going to hoard. Look at all that gun oil we got, dude. We are going to be ready to put the repairs on a lot of our AKs. Like, we got tons of gun oil. Tons of weapon parts, and of course, tons of steel. Although, we are gonna have to turn a good amount of that steel over into the acid bath, so we gotta be aware of that. But we got some guns, hopefully, we'll be prepared for what's to come. And honestly, why don't we put uh, away? I think just a little bit of food. We should be able to go there with an empty inventory and be more than fine. Smush up on one of those. Let's head on over to the chopper event. Let's see what we get. And hopefully, since our inventory is gonna be so empty. Our luck will be good, and maybe we acquire something on the uh, nifty side, like an airdrop on the way home, or scuba mask, man. That scuba mask been in the game since like one point. It's I don't how long has it been in the game? It's been a lot of updates that it's supposedly been in, and like so, like people have started getting it over how much time it's taken. Ooh, hello dealer. I ain't interested in you, but hello. Still, it's gonna be nifty because I'm. I just want to get it now because what if that's gonna be like the gas tank of the future, where it's ridiculously hard to get. And your only chance, and you have to like use it to do something like maybe, I don't know, like maybe dive into the lake and get some like underwater treasure. I don't think you're going to have to use it to cross anything. Maybe it'll be used to get into the, one of the lower bunker floors. Maybe like the bottom floor is flooded. Like if any floor is flooded, it makes sense that the bottom floor would be. I don't know. There's been a lot of rumors, a lot of theories, but the scuba mask is rare. And if it's rare, I feel like it's going to be useful for something down the line. If it's a glorified trophy, I'll still take a glorified trophy, man. I got my trophy room with my trophy chest. You know, we got the blind one ahead up there. We got some sp extra special weapons and the colored chest in the middle. You guys know the trophy room I'm talking about. Hello. Hello, my comrade. How are you doing today? Over here, you need help. What help need, comrade? I provide the best of ability. What do you require? Keep up. Running out of time. No, not necessary. Do not run out. Are we gonna get shot at today, or is it a zo It's a zombie horde, AKA, let them do all the work. Because, uh, yeah, I don't have to kill the zombies. And the zombies would have been kind of annoying. And I mean, what do they have? Two baseball bats and a pistol? Probably some really broken down armor after the zombie horde? I don't think I care too much if they, uh, if they die. As long as the zombie horde disappears like go guys go go you gotta believe in you keep doing this great job keep up the swing a plus oh my god 
That dude just hit a home run with his head. Is that it for zombies? Just a double horde? It seemed to- Oh, your friend died! I am so sorry about that. I will definitely loot his body respectfully. So his legacy may live on in his machete. That's- Oh! Okay, you guys wanna- wanna wrap that one up there, boys? Uh, Mr. Baseball Bat's gonna die. Uh, oh no, he's- he's entered melee mode. Uh, well... The chance to survive- I mean, the good thing is that I'm- listen, it's- it's a team effort here. I'm hoarding them. I, I'm distracting them, and they're punching them and hitting them with baseball bats. You can't go wrong! Like, look at that. They're so distracted by me. They're getting pulverized. They're playing golf with their heads. A little bit of badminton, even. And it's- it's- it's beautiful. Oh my god, another horde. We might want to cut our losses pretty soon, and, uh... Let's kind of grab this loot. Oh my god, the horde that keeps on coming. Alright, boyos, uh, I'm gonna start looting up your chopper. I apologize about this. Don't worry, your loot will not live in vain. I will make sure it lives on in my inventory because I'm a serial hoarder. And yeah, that, that one's not happening. Okay, so we... Best way of doing this event, if you guys don't know. Don't even bother shooting the horde. They're so slow. They're not gonna catch up to you. Just bring them all the way to the corner of the map. And when they arrive, you run back up to the chopper. And you're golden, lads! Absolutely golden. It does take him a minute, as you can see, to arrive, but that's good. So if it takes him a minute to arrive here, that means it's gonna take him a minute to arrive upstairs. Not upstairs. Why did I say upstairs? Up north! I don't think the map has stairs. Hello, boys! How do ye do? Rather well. Good to hear, because I'm running for the freaking hills. Ain't trying to die to you boys. Sorry. What I am trying to do is get some of that juicy, juicy, juicy loot. Not that loot. We just want to get the chopper loot. The choppers are what have the chance of having the scuba mask. And well, no scuba mask, but a gas mask. And, dude, you honestly, that's what you get. The choppers, I feel like, literally have the best loot. Except maybe the red crates. You will consistently find high quality armor and guns in there. Like the bags that come with them, pretty meh. Not gonna lie, pretty meh. Like not a lot to write home about there. Like, oh ma, I got a half-used baseball bat off a dead dude. That's when your ma calls the police because she's concerned for your safety and the fact that you might be a murderer. But they tell her it's a zombie apocalypse and you're just playing on your phone, but the cops don't understand. They still arrest you. You go to jail. You go through your whole process. Dude in the cell next to you, he's like, what are you in for? And you're like, ah. Stole, stole a dead dude's baseball bat. And then everyone in the jail thinks you're hard. And that's when you become the kingpin of prison. That is 100% a true story, guaranteed. How else could I go into so much detail? Definitely true. If you don't, if you can't, it's true. It's very true. Ah, uh, why don't we try going, honestly, to some of these zones? From what I've heard, let's hope that an AI attacks us. Like, we got some machetes to use up. I've heard that the chests in these areas can uh, have things as well, so let's go through a couple chests, maybe hope for an AI to attack us. Uh, I've heard from you guys too as well that you've gotten them even out of green, like green zone AI attacking, and I feel like I've seen them get dropped from AI before, but I've seen a lot of things. How long have I been playing last day, daily? Not to mention the prep work that goes into playing every day, like clearing out some bunkers, getting some stuff like that. I spent a good amount of time in the last day. Seen a lot of things. I'm not saying I've spent the most amount of time in the last day. By no means. Some of you guys out there definitely more hardcore than me. And hey, props to you guys on that, man. That's no easy feat. But alas, y'all will be great in the clan when that day comes. Hopefully we can make the clans massive. Because if we can, you know we are going to have some awesome stuff happening with that. Our clan will be the most powerful clan in the world. They will tremble in fear when they know that the rubber duckies are coming. Yeah, it's gonna be a clan name. Rubber duckies. 100% serious. Why would I ever joke about a clan name? Definitely 100% serious. We're gonna have a flag. You know what it's gonna be? Rubber ducks. Yeah, I know. Horrifying. Truly striking terror into the hearts of our enemies when they hear that quack. Oh, ho, ho. they'll know who comes. And my dudes, it's got a little pop up saying that survivors are coming, so that's gonna be a good sign. I shouldn't. Ah, oh, I should not have brought SWAT armor to this. Like, I don't. Eh. Ah. Uh, yeah, this, this is kind of a waste of SWAT armor. Not gonna lie. Probably should have put off the SWAT armor and used that a little bit later. But whatever. Gotta live with your decisions and I'm living with them right now. Yeah, I like saving the SWAT armor for the hard mode bunker. Because those dudes, whew, they deal some damage. Especially compared to what we gotta deal with here. Oh no. Oh. How the hell am I already halfway to a shower? Come on, man. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this, dude. 
Where's that survivor though? You said it smelled like survivors, my man. Where are they at? I don't see him. I don't see him. I see a liar. And none of those. And this might be the last chest of the zone. So if we don't get attacked by a dude, I'll just, uh, hey, I'll leave. If I'm not welcome, more than happy to leave. Although apparently it's been, I don't know, there's, there's a myth going around that when you're looting chests, there's a better chance of an AI attacking you. I think that's just people having bad luck and very consistently remembering an AI attacking them when they're looting a chest. Does that piss me off, dude? Someone starts shooting at me when I'm rummaging through some stuff in a chest? Like, hey, bro, I'm opening that. And the bro's like, hey, no, I'm shooting you. You know, kind of reprioritizes your priorities. Airdrop, hey, mama. I need one more of that. Why don't we start walking there? Look at that. Already speed up. Let's go, Speedy Gonzalez. We got this. We moving fast. And we about to move fast, hopefully, into a connecting route. Maybe an engine part, too. Like, that's the thing. Airdrops, there's a rare chance it would happen, but still. If I get an engine part or a connecting rod, that is absolutely top tier, top level success when it comes to these. And I can't be mad. I can't be mad that the second floor of the bunker did not live up to expectations this time around and kind of kind of screwed us a little bit. That's okay. All right. They did it with a screwdriver, at least. You know, they were up to code with their actions. You know, they had the permit and everything, so you can't be too mad. But still, it does suck. And we got to wait. I think it's another day. Something like that until the bunker resets. So tomorrow, man, I'll be ready and I'll be ready to go to that floppy disk location. And tomorrow might be the mythical day. I'll try and do some connecting rod runs as well and hopefully get some good luck. And that, that luck just ain't happening right now, though, man. Just ain't happening. Uh, let's prioritize what we want to take with us. It's a lot of wires, but at the same time, dude, we have so much wire at home. We don't use the things on anything. I'm, putting the, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing that machete back. Machetes are good weapons. More than happy to bring those home, but... That sucks. Not even an AI attacking us here. Can they attack us at airdrops? Not 100% sure about that one. But, unless something else cool spawns on the map, which I don't think it will, unless the shipwreck suddenly decides to reappear. For real, I hope Kafir. Maybe like maybe that's maybe that's why it's not here. Maybe Kafir is doing another rework of the shipwreck. Maybe instead of a shipwreck, it's gonna be Santa's sleigh. The sleigh's freaking massive, you know. <laughs> but it's gonna be Santa's sleigh crashing somewhere. I'd be game for that, man. But with that, our energy is low. We will begin the walk back to home, just to you know not have to buy more energy just to walk home. Since I mean the episode's been going on for a while. We've did a little bit of questing for the acid bath. We we had some unfortunate luck when it came to the bunker, but that's okay, because next time that means we'll acquire a floppy disk, and we have a plethora of AKs to upgrade, so if we get a fully modded AK, or even like a laser sighted AK, boom! Biggest success imaginable. With that, that's gonna wrap it up for me for now. I wish you guys nothing but the most fan-fantastic day in the world. Best of luck to you guys joining the Chopper Squadron, however you're doing it. If you decide to get these crates, I don't think they're worth them, but, I mean, the one redeeming quality is definitely those engine parts. The five engine parts, if you open up six, if you buy all 12 of them, 25 bucks, that's a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But if you're really desperate for engine parts, and you got some money lying around, that might be an interest of you. But at the end of the day, that's your choice. I'm not telling you to do nothing. I don't gain anything by you guys buying these packs, buying these kits or anything. So at the end of the day, that's your call. I was just trying to show what it's got. But personally, I... Like, ah, I'm conflicted. Like, I want to say I wouldn't buy them, but the engine parts are nice. But, eh, it's a tough one. But, so, uh, that is going to be for now. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.